Hello. Husky's back again with more New York Rangers franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Uh, last video, we had a very disappointing series with the Buffalo Sabres. I was going to say Boston. Buffalo Sabres uh, didn't exactly go as planned, but we did kind of have... It's basically it's coming down to goaltending. Um, I, I loved Darcy two seasons ago with his playoff run, but we got plenty of offense from our team. And our, our goaltender just couldn't keep the puck out of the net. Uh, I mean, he had a 921 save percentage. I mean, he wasn't awful, but there were definitely some moments where you saw him definitely fall off. Like, really wasn't his best time. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, <clears throat> if I can talk, is we're going to hit up free agency, see if there's a starter out there. Uh, I'm going to sign a starter. For at least a couple of seasons until Curry's ready. Exact top nine. I don't want to take exact. Let's take the elite. He's got high league interest. Medium top six. Vili Polka and Alex Goligoski for a first round pick next season. Why would I want either of these guys? That's all of my cap space gone. And they're both garbage. Get out of here. <clears throat> All right, the draft pretty much now is just um, I really don't know how to describe the draft. It's I mean, it's not our livelihood anymore. The first couple of seasons <clears throat> definitely were. Oh, a medium starter. Nice. That was a good pick. Jeff Petrie, no, get out of here. I'm not trading my first round pick for two washed up defensemen. Um, yeah, let's say Cardinal. Medium bottom six. I forgot we traded so much to get into the draft. Ooh, top nine. Mm, top nine. I don't know if I like this. Bottom, uh, bottom, bottom six, 59 overall. Again, not awful. So far, we've done, we've had a pretty good draft so far. Back up. Bottom sixes. Lots of bottom six guys. It's a shame that I don't ever see any of these guys get to these over these potentials. A grind, an unknown defensive. He's got no, no league interest. Never mind. Medium elite defenseman with no league interest. I've. I'm gonna take a chance on him. Low top six. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. But you see an elite. I feel like you take a chance on it. We've had worse drafts. I thought that was pretty good. I think that last pick was really the only one that was kind of out there. I don't think I have too many people to sign, but we'll see, because I think I signed D'Angelo and somebody else last video, unless that was the Kings. That might have been the Kings one that I re-signed people. Honestly, I don't remember. These two these two have started to blend together with how much I'm playing them. All expiring. So we got Arkhipov, Manson, Bronstrom, Buchnevich, Boucher, Ellie, Pedersen. So we don't have a whole lot of big names to sign. And we've got 19 million in cap space. Do we have to sign a goalie? We don't. I'm going to hold on to Villalta. Two-way. Yep. And Tebow. Boosh. And there we go. All right. So Arkhipov, I want to hold on to. He's actually done really well for us. Does he want to be here? He does. Nice. Let's uh, let's see if we can get him for a little cheaper. Let's try with 3.9. Uh, Josh Manson. 82 overall. Wants 5 million. I'm going to let him walk. Uh, Braunstrom I want to sign 1.6, absolutely. Buchnevich I want to hold on to 2.5, man. Let's go ahead and spread that down a little bit. Reed Boucher, I really didn't use you. We can go ahead and cut you. Remy Ellie, I kind of like having him around as a, a healthy scratch if nothing else. Uh, let's go ahead and sign the Martian. He's already a 70. DPA, this dude's already... He's 19. He can play in the AHL. I'm going to sign him and get him in there. He's a low elite. 
so none of these guys are really looking for AHL time yet. Uh, I'm going to let these two go, but I'm going to sign the two seventh defensemen because they're medium. All right. Go ahead and sim a day, see where we're at. So right now I'm sitting, I need a goaltender and at least one defenseman since we let Manson walk. Nope. There we go. All right, so I'm ready for a bunch of rejections. Ooh, accepted, rejected, accepted, accepted, rejected, accepted, 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 accepted. All right, so everybody accepted but a couple. All right, we're still sitting at 15 million cap space, so we're looking good going into free agency. Pogi's a 90. Oh, my God, it's so good. So good. All right, so it's only Buchnevich. He's the only guy that didn't sign. Well, and Tebow. All right, let's try just a little bit less than. I might have lowballed him a little too hard. Is my roster full? Is that why this guy can't sign? I'm going to assume that's going to be. I didn't. I mashed A too fast. I didn't see the reason. I'm assuming that was the reason, though. That's generally the only reason that rookies don't sign. I'm not content with the minutes I played this season. All right. Yeah, I have no room for you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so see that? I enjoy that. He wasn't happy with his minutes, so he wants to get paid a little more. I understand that. I feel for you. It's a shame they don't have, like, a promise system. Um... Dun, dun, boom. Actually, Graves, you can go. Uh, Graves can go. You can go. <clears throat> I like Kovacs, but he's actually... What's his offensive stats? Now he can go. Just ever since that one dude told me that uh, this is the best way to... Or your UFAs count against your contract. Limit, yeah, I see him counting down there in the bottom right. So this way we can sign Tebow. Boosh. And we still have Darcy for another year. If I'm going to keep Darcy around, I really don't want to keep him around. We're gonna, I might try to trade Darcy. If we find a goaltender. I got to sign Buchnevich still. Buchnevich. Oops. Nope, not Maelstrom. Buchnevich. I'm just going to give him what he wants for a year or for two years and see if he signs that. Because that's still not a bad contract for a bottom six guy. Especially considering his playoff contributions over the past few seasons. He's been real... He's become a staple of this team. Yeah, I think he's gone. My roster's not full. I let people go. Whatever. I'll just go sign him in free agency. Alright. So we need a goaltender and at least a defenseman and a bottom six guy. Rasmus Dahlin? What? How do you let him walk, New York? How? Dude, if I can have a decor, this Brady Shea, Rasmus Dahlin, what do I have to give up to get him, though? 6.9, a first, second, and a third. That's not bad, man. Considering what else is out there, I mean, these guys are decent, but I don't think the Islanders can match me. Ooh, hello. Low Elite, 81 overall, UFA. Yes, please. What, was he not drafted? God damn. I'm going to kind of... Oh, actually, just sort by this way. Uh, RFA. 65s. Sam Reinhardt. Um, see, these are all lows. He's got offers, so I'm going to throw him the max offer I can. That's another, in addition to kind of sorting my potential and looking through here, seeing what players have offers from other teams is another way to kind of figure out who's worth throwing an offer to. All right, goaltenders. Well, there's a medium elite goaltender. Throw him an offer. All right, so there's no goalies. Shit. 
not what I was hoping for. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna offer Dolan. We're gonna go seven for him. Yep, and we'll see if we get him. This who's uh, Husilus? Hus Hus Torsten Husilus? Where's he from? I want to sign him just to see. He's a he's a power forward. He's got 90 offensive awareness. He can fit in nicely on that uh, third line. Where uh, even on the fourth line. God damn it! No, not proposed trade. We're gonna let's let's sign Dolan and then I'll figure out a trade. And stay. Because I've got, I've got more than enough prospects that can package together something to go trade for a goalie. No. 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 All of those rookies bailed to go somewhere else. Bastards. All right, we got him, though. I'm, I'm happy with him. 81 overall. 19 years old. Dallin accepted. All right, so we have to wait to see if they'll match. Ryan Ellis. No, I just signed... Uh, I don't have those draft picks. <laughs> we just got Dallin. Come on, show me that the Islanders can't match. Show me that the Islanders can't match. Show me the Islanders can't match. I would assume they can't if they had to let him go. I should have gone and looked at him, though. Nice. Rasmus Dahlin. Thank you, Islanders. He just had a deep playoff run. 14 points. Oh, dude. That. Oh, man. 89 overall, 22. I mean, $7 million is a bit much. What are we paying? Um, Pogi, how long has he got? He got two more years. What's Shea make? Shea makes 6.7. So yeah, we're I'm 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 more than happy with that signing. Giving up a first, a second, and a third is pretty rough, but they were just gonna get traded anyway. Now I need to find somebody that's got a goaltender that they don't want. So let's do a quick quick search of the trade blocks here I don't know if any of these guys are goaltenders I'm probably just gonna have to go in and see if anybody wants Darcy because I mean goaltender wise I've got I've got this career kid I could trade in addition to, actually Kemper's got some trade value so I could pull somebody back that's half decent I just need somebody who's not complete garbage, which is going to be tough to find. I would pretty much what I want is Carey Price. If it was last season, would be I'd consider it. But he's already he's an 83. I'm not getting myself too much better there. Quick's an 82. I need a vet. Like I need a 34, 35 year old that hasn't plummeted. Like Talbot would be nice, but there's no way that. I could bring him over. I don't think I can put a package together to get him. Skinner's 23. Bishop's an 80. Corpus Al's an 85 at 28. That sucks for Columbus. Man, there's not a whole lot to pick from here. Brian Elliott is an 89 at 37. Let's see if we can get Brian Elliott. They don't want Darcy. But they want Greer. I'm okay with trading Greer. I would have too many goalies. Oh, it's because I'm trading him. Well, let's throw Kemper in there with him. That's too much. Uh... Now, we'll see if he actually... Stays this overall. We've been screwed by overalls in the past. No, we'll just do this. Well, not even that. Oh, they won't. They won't. They don't want to take Darcy. No. I'll eat some of it. I'll eat 500k. Oh, they're still not willing to accept it. Seriously. All right, let's not give him Darcy. I mean, I have to give him something. I don't want to give him Balta. Um. Actually, let's give him this dude. It's not sufficient at all. So anybody else you want that I don't have a use for? 
Camillary. There we go. Alright, so we'll see if uh, if Brian Elliott actually stays that overall. If he does, even for one year, we, that's all we have to get him to play for is just the season. He's an 89. He's 37. We're at a... We got 7 million in cap space. Yeah, I like that. If if he stays at least above an 85, I'm okay with that trade. Because that Greer kid was going to take another three or four years to get ready. Nice. So we come away with a 89 overall goaltender. Rasmus Dahlin. I get that RFAs aren't like everybody's favorite since I have to give up so much to get them. But those first three picks were going to get traded for a goalie anyway. And Rasmus, I can't pass on Rasmus Dahlin, man. Especially to take him from the Islanders. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fuck the Islanders. <laughs> the New York rivalry lives strong on this channel. God, Brady, Shea, Rasmus Dahlin, Pogi. What's sad is Shea's probably my second pair of D-man now. Because I want to go Pogi Dolan on my first pairing. Because Dolan should be a 90 come start of the season. I would assume. He just had a deep playoff run. He's 22. God, I'm I'm excited to see what my lines have to show for. Alright, so let's see. So first line, Taylor Hall, Connor McDavid, Nikita Sherbach. Um, no, I want Heischer. McLeod's an 86. You're on the second line. Connor's a Benajed McLeod. Oh, this dude's an 83 down here? Hello. Power forward. Playmaker, playmaker. Um, Arkhipov, sorry, bud, but you're getting you're getting relocated down here. This kid might be uh might be our, our diamond in the rough. He's Swedish. Torsen Husilis? Hulysis? Hus, Hus, well, he's gonna be Torsten. All right, defense. Where the where the? Oh my God! Yes, yes. Don and Pogi. Absolutely. Braunstrom and Malstrom. Um, I'm going to split up D'Angelo. I'm going to put him down here. And the goaltending please be an 89. Oh, he's still an 89. Yes. That's perfect. I don't know how he's an 89, but I'm so glad that he is. I should have looked at his stats. Oh my god, look at those stats. Three straight years as a starter with just getting better with age. You know, 194 goals against last season. Oh. What was he in the postseason? Yeah, it wasn't great. We won't look at those stats. <laughs> Alright, so I, I, ideally I trade uh, Darcy at some point during the season just to get rid of his cap hit. But I like the way we're sitting. I mean, we, we beefed up our bottom six by getting rid of Buchnevich and bringing in this Torchton kid. Because he plays on the third line and it bumps Arkhipov down to the fourth line. We got Rasmus Dahlin playing with Shea and Pogi. We have almost 390 overall defensemen. That's the first time I think I've ever had that good of a deep core in one of these videos. One of these series, I should say. But yeah, that's where I'm going to go ahead and call this video. As always, comment section for reactions and everything. As well as thank you for watching. And I'll probably see you on Saturday for a video too. I'm digging this everyday thing.